My name's John. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. Um, I served from uh, 1989 or 1988 to uh, 1992. Whenever I did get out, I was, I was going to school full time and uh, I was 21 year, 22 years old and uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, I, I got things going there in San Diego and, and built a business and uh, you know, I, I really didn't have any problems at that time and I didn't have any problems for, you know, a great number of years. A few years ago, I, I got into trouble. I, I, uh, there were some bad things that happened in my life. My house burned down. Uh, my, the economy uh, kind of took a crap on my construction company and, uh, and I got really drunk for uh, a little period of time there and uh, ended up getting four DUIs in a matter of two days. And uh, of course, that, you know, that's, that's what put me in prison. And while I was there, I managed to uh, uh, lose just about everything. There was a, a, a veteran's representative uh, that came to see me. His name was uh, Tony. And he came to see me and, you know, he explained some things that were available to, to veterans, you know, to prisoners who were veterans. And uh, I've, I've never used any of my benefits. I'm not a disabled vet, but I, I never had any idea that there were things that were still available to me and uh, the two and a half years that I spent in prison uh, cost me everything and I would have got out with nothing if it wouldn't have been for Tony coming and you know talking to me and he started lining some things out and uh, uh, there was I think it's called the HVRP and I, I didn't consider myself a homeless veteran but uh, I guess if your house is foreclosed on while you're locked up that's basically what you become and uh, he hooked me up with uh, with some uh, another program called the uh, HAV Homes for All Veterans, and that's administered through the Department of uh, Veterans Affairs. As soon as I got out, I mean, they helped me get into a house. They provided, I mean, money which I had none. They they provided me with financial assistance to help me get into a house and, and to find a place. But dealing with the Department of Corrections, as you come out and and segue into the uh, back into back into society. It's, it's not easy to deal with that just by yourself if, if you're completely broke and you've lost everything. And it was the VA that, uh, that helped me get some of that online. There was a psyche valve that I had to have. They took care of all the paperwork for the parole board and uh, got everything taken care of for me. They've certainly addressed the issues that, I, that I've had, which is, you know, DUI and alcoholism. It's been a good program, and uh, and it, it it's it's arranged with my schedule. Uh, I'm able to to deal with with anything I need with scheduling uh, to get that taken care of, and of course, like I say, I mean, the, the, I think the biggest, most immediate thing for most people would be the cost, and uh, you know, and the VA has taken care of that. You know, parole has something to say about you know whether your kids are going to live with you or not, and. You know, with my with my vet rep, you know, he actually talked to my parole officer and said, you know, is there any trouble at all? And they said, no, not whatsoever. And uh, you know, here in two more weeks, my 16-year-old son's going to be living with me. I've also gotten into college. I'm going back to school, finishing my degree in in, in journalism. And uh, I thought that you know my Montgomery GI Bill had expired, and. Uh, as it turns out, it has, but there, with with working with veterans representatives and they're at the at the school financial aid center, uh, they have a a department for veterans. And if you're if you're a vet, they sit down and they figure out what they can do. And I'm going to school full time right now. I don't have my my life back that I had three years ago, um, but it's 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 going to be there because we've taken care of the issues. You may have to do a little bit of work and dig around a little bit, but, but, but it's there. I mean, there's no telling, uh, you know, what I might have done with, with, without the help. And, and I mean, I've, I'm so grateful and, uh, you know, for finding that.